The Graveyard of the Atlantic. Sable Island is a small and famous Canadian island for its large number of shipwrecks. An estimated 350 vessels are believed to have fallen victim to the island's sandbars. Thick fogs, treacherous currents, and the island's location in the middle of a major transatlantic shipping route and rich fishing grounds account for the large number of wrecks. Navigation here is complicated by constant storms and the fact that the colliding ocean currents wash up more and more shoals, which are almost useless to map, so often they drift, disappear, and reappear. In 1939, storms of unprecedented power, following one after another, carried away so much sand from the island that a huge funnel formed in the middle of Sable, in which the skeletons of eight ships of different eras were visible. The most interesting find, of course, could be considered an ancient Roman galley. The next victim of the treacherous sands of Sable Island, long famous as the Graveyard of the Atlantic, the Greek freighter Alphios is seen firmly aground in 1946. Sable Island is moving. For 200 years, Sable has moved 40 kilometers away from Canada, and the length of the island itself has decreased from 200 to 40 kilometers since the 16th century, when the island was first explored and mapped. Some scientists say the island is gradually moving eastward as it slowly washes away on the west end, while sand builds on the east end, a constant state of flux as the center of the island moves eastward. Others believe that its center is not shifting, but that the island is shrinking and might eventually disappear. Climate change. Being a large low-lying sandbar, Sable Island is vulnerable to sea level rise. This is further exacerbated by an ongoing increase in storm frequency and intensity caused by climate change, further eroding the island. These factors point towards Sable Island disappearing by the end of the century.